So I um, found this quote, she, Mother Teresa says, um, if there is no peace, it is because we've forgotten that we belong to one another. After the Woman's March, Allison, Kelly, and I returned to Crestone with renewed purpose. We went straight to work with the U.S. Department of Arts and Culture, a people-powered department, and an act of collective imagination aimed at sparking creative change. As part of their national call, we hosted a local people State of the Union, an annual civic ritual where we listened to each other's stories around belonging. Belonging to ourselves, our communities, our nations, our world. From these stories, we collaboratively composed a local poetic address to the nation in conjunction with the national address. About this time, I wrote and received a USDAC cultural democracy grant to continue exploring our Crestone Baca sense of belonging through more community participatory art. The project's name became Belonging Bandwagon, a performance art driven dialogue for culture's sake. Now this imaginative performance art needed characters and luckily, Kelly, Allison, and I were already in full immersion with our company of players, Her Stories Production. Three of our characters felt deeply relevant to not only our own personal sense of ancestral belonging, but also they were already acquiring a life of their own in the community. Allison brought to life Sappho, the ancient Greek poet, priestess, and lover who remained curious as she scribed and danced her way through tumultuous times. I brought to life Juana Azurdui de Padilla, the Bolivian guerrilla military leader who, while pregnant, fought the Spanish conquistadors of the early 1800s for their independence. And Kelly brought to life Harriet, the falconer of Irish lineage who had lost her dear falcon, Jester along with her mind in a modern world that often felt confusing and isolating, yet she was ready to give it another go. As the story goes, these characters couldn't get back home until they solved a riddle on Creston Baca's sense of belonging. To find your way through, you must work to include, discover the clues, and fill the bandwagon with home. We took the trio off stage to our annual 4th of July parade and saw with fresh eyes the palpable joy that our community cultivates when we come together. Over the next few months, as the characters explored our local culture, the riddle led them to their stories, a gathering to share and learn through the community's stories on belonging. What our characters found was that we live in a strange place. About 160 people live in the town of Crestone and close to 2,000 live in the Baca Grande subdivision, literally just over the Arroyo. Many congregate in the town's commercial district, the Crestone Charter School, and various cultural places throughout the Baca. So there is much artistic and cultural overlap. And still, the subdivision is managed by a property owner's association and the town is its own municipality. The trio discovered that our sense of belonging is strong, yet our sense of democracy is splintered, which contributes to a pestering disbelonging and a lingering mistrust. Sappho, Juana, and Harriet solved the riddle and found their way back home by filling this mini wagon with an idea. By collectively creating this traveling cultural artifact known as the Crestone Baca Belonging Bandwagon, bridges will be built where fissures have taken hold. They also left us with two practical tools to help bridge divides in our community, a policy on belonging and a cultural impact study requirement to be presented for adoption to the town of Crestone in the Baca Grande POA. And wanting to bring forth these policies is one way in which we could utilize the policies because belonging is also 
about how we belong. It's important to honor everybody's safety, everybody's needs, to be able to foster a place to hear everybody's point of view in a functional way. So it looks at the fabric of the culture of the community um, that can be affected when a new development comes and raises prices and pushes people out. This is happening all over and yeah. that there's nowhere else to push people out to. Yeah. The aim is to inspire dialogue and positive civic engagement by forming relationships with our policymaking bodies in order to work together towards a shared culture of equity, empathy, and belonging. Shall we?